Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is ASP.NET Code ReactJS and Redux Tutorials. And in this tutorial, I will explain how to call an external JSON file or data into a table. And here we got the final output of our application. Notice the JSON data is displayed in our HTML table on a ReactJS component. This JSON data is an external file which is in the desktop. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous ReactJS tutorials. You can find those video tutorials in my channel playlist. Now let's continue the today's tutorial. Notice here on my desktop, there is an EMP data which is a JSON file. Let's open that one, edit with notepad. At this moment, this amp.json file contains four records, the employee details. Now my aim is I want to call this EMP data JSON file and populate it into an HTML table on a React.js component. So let's start the coding part. I'm using Visual Studio 2019 to create a React.js application. Just for the time saving, I have already created one ASP.NET Core React.js and Redux application. Open Solution Explorer. This is our application name. And this application contains some default files and folders. In this application, notice the client app, which contains all our client side applications. Let me expand this folder as well as a source folder. Notice in the source folder, there is a components folder. Now in this components folder contains all our JS components or JSX TypeScript components. Now let's add one new component to call our this JSON data file, which is in our desktop. So first let's create one new component called uh, creating a Java JScript JavaScript json data uh, display is my component name and here we got our component now to create a component in this file first we need to import the react class from the react library import react from react library after that i'm defining a class component json data display extends component and this component contains a main method called render this render will display the return method which contains all our html elements first we need to add the div element which is a root element of our component in this div element we will add our table element before that, let's add one simple center tag. So the data will display the center. Let's add some heading. Display JSON data into an HTML table. Table and S3. ASP.NET Core React.js Redux Tutorials. After that, I'm adding one simple horizontal line. After the horizontal line, I'm adding one table element which contains a border with one size one. The border size is, and I'm closing the table tab. Then we require one table headers. That table headers we need to add. And the table rows table headers if you check in our json data we have four columns id amp name email and mobile so let's add that one the four headers amp id the second component is amp name employee name table headers email and 
and the last one is a mobile I think it's mobile yes it's mobile mobile now after that I want to display this data so first we need to import our JSON file import so let's give the MP detail from we require the path of this uh, JSON data so that one and let's go to properties let's copy this one paste here we need to add forward slash forward slash EMP data JSON EMP data dot JSON now let's close this now we need to map this EMP data the JSON file into this table so let's add the curly brackets uh, EMP detail which is this object dot map method in this map method I am adding some x the variable and this return this return table rows I am closing the table row table data which displays our the columns x dot id we need to add this column names id emp name email id td x dot emp name x dot email and the last one is the x dot mobile Here we forgot to add export default my component name here. So let's save this file. Let's configure this component in our project index.ksx file, which is a TypeScript file. Notice here in the render method, the default component is rendering app component. Now I want to run this component when page loads. Let's import our JSON data display component in this index.tsx file. Let's build this application. Now it's time to check the final output. And here we got the output. Oops, it got displaying these values here. We forgot to add in the curly brackets. Sorry for that. Let's save this file again. Now I'm reloading the browser. And here we got the final output of our application. That is the JSON data is displayed in our HTML table on a ReactJS component. This JSON data is an external file which is in the desktop. And I call this EMP data JSON on a ASP.NET Core ReactJS Red App application. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.